is boxing's number one star. Amir Khan has boxing's fastest hands. Saturday, May 7th. Hard right hand by Canelo. Unparalleled power. Time first round for Khan. Unsurpassed speed. This is my time. Let's do this. Canelo versus Khan. See it live. This is James Held of IFL TV in association with Mac and his Jim Marbauer. Quite fortunate enough to be joined by a talented young prospect, a man of 15 fights, 15 KOs, Duke Micah. How are you, Duke? You all right? I'm good. I'm good. Also joined by the coach, Mr. Carl Loco. What's happening, Carl? Yeah, cool, 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 cool. It's been a little while since we spoke. You've been all right? Yeah, but it's good, are we? Yeah. From the time we've spoken now, you can see the progress, and okay. it's, it's good you are back again to get another one again, another good prospect. Listen, last time I always ask you this, where is the next Richard Comey come in? Who is the next in this sort of conveyor belt of talent, if you like? And you've unleashed one. You've only gone and found another one. Yeah, you remember I told you I have more of Richard Comey back there, but it's a matter of time to take our time and build them up and yeah. bring them in again. It's another good one there again in the name of Duke Micah and the Bantamweight. He's ready and he'll be ready for any of the Bantamweights in the system. Duke Micah, tell the IFL TV viewers a little bit about yourself, please, sir. I'm, 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 I'm happy to uh, be here to face the best bantamweight boxers here before I get to the next level in America because I want to face every boxer that is good in my weight division, bantamweight. Talking to Carl Loco, he tells me you're a superstar in the making. You love the camera, you love Instagram, you love Snapchat. You're sort of you're one to look out for in the future. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, I don't scared of the crowd. And when when I see something like that, I'm happy to do because that is my job, and I have to show myself, and I have to get to the top. So I'm happy to you know show myself in the pictures and. Uh, I'm happy and I'm glad because that is my, this is my job and this is my future. So I always have to come out, my, uh, come out with myself, show up because I want to, I want to become a world champion and for sure I will. We've got some great bantamweights in this country. Jamie McDonald, for instance, Lee Haskins, they're both carrying world titles. Stuart Hall, he's now mandatory to fight for the IBF world title. Lee Selby coming through. So do excuse me, Andrew Selby coming through, Charlie Edwards coming through. Can we potentially get him in the mix with, with some of these fighters somewhere down the road? What, how does it work from here on? I mean, that is, that is good. I mean, it's good you are mentioning the names of the likes of, I mean, the good ones in the system. And always I have to say, if you're a boxer, you have to prove to the whole world if you are really a boxer. If you are not, if you are not out of the, the best thing, you have to be in that mix. And that is why we brought him here. He's ever ready to do it. We're just hoping that when the time comes, they will not start running away again, avoiding us or something like that. He's the deal. He's ready to do it. That is why he's here. I mean, he's ranked in the no, uh, number 15 WBO as the African champion. So that means he has won his African title before coming here. So meaning he won the continental, I want to face, I mean, the international scene. So that is why he's here. I said that it's such a deep division with us. I forgot to mention Ryan Fragg and Louis Petit. There are some great potential matchups there. So it's just a case of getting him here, getting his profile risen up, and then hopefully getting him into these, some of these big fights. That is what I'm saying. I mean, we, we are ever ready for them to even start calling up for us to do it. We are ready for them to start calling up for us to do it. So we believe they have a good ones there. And don't get me wrong, they are good. They are really good. But how do you call yourself the best if you have no fights with the good ones there? So that is why I want to do that. So we are ready for him. Long-term plan for him, what, how does it work? Will we see him a couple of fights here and then look to go stateside with him? Or is it a case of seeing how he gets on here and, and what opportunities arise? Yeah, like I said, you see the way we took Richie through the mill, um, not in a rush, but taking our time. Uh, he have his 10 now. He had his first fight, in the, his first debut fight, uh, and that was last week, and he won the fourth round. He's coming out again for, uh, 14th of May to have his second fight then we'll see where we'll go from there. Trying to build him up here, get him up in the rankings, then start pushing up again. Wherever it happens, we are ready to go. As Richard have been going, Germany, Denmark, South Africa, US, and we are ready to do it. So we have already. How did you find your first fight on UK shores? Did you enjoy it? And are you looking forward to, to showcasing yourself here again? I'm very, very amazing. And I, I love it and I'm, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy to perform in London because 
because you know Great Britain, they are good people, and I'm happy to come here and show myself, and I'm very, very glad. You know, so they all the boxers now they believe that they are best. They should come out and face me, because we mean business. You understand? Boxing is what we want to do. So if you know you are best, fight the best, and you'll be the best. Because I want to face everybody, even if you're on the top, and even you brag, I'll challenge you when you come out. So if you are ready, come out. If you are not ready and you come, I'll challenge you. On that note, we look forward to seeing you making some progress from here on in. Thanks for talking to our full TV. Good to get you on the channel, and um, yeah, keep a look out. He's here. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very thanks, much. Thanks. We're thanks. always happy to see you around. Oh thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great. Show time. Come on, man. Everybody, I feel I want to face the best boxes here. <laughs> Canelo Alvarez is boxing's number one star. Amir Khan has boxing's fastest hands. Saturday, May 7th. Hard right hand by Canelo. Unparalleled power. Time first round for Unsurpassed speed. This is my time. Let's do this. Canelo versus Khan. See it live.